had to get our heads around shaders and the whole concept of shaders because last generation was polygons and this generation on the PS3 it's more about surface details which comes from shaders. So that's using uh, any number of textures um, in conjunction to get a rendering effect on the surface of the polygon. So on the, on the PS3, we had to take on a new concept of, of lighting. You know, HDR lighting, the high dynamic range lighting, uh, gave us the ability to really stretch the values, uh, that scale of, of, of contrast, lights and darks um, in image space uh, to a broader range. So that on the fly, as we're uh, as we're pulling and stretching these ranges and changing the apertures of the camera as we're moving in and out of dark areas to light areas, um, we're also trying to make it easy on the player's eye and, and uh, make the screen still readable and playable. For that instant that you come out of the dark and you move into the light, we want that effect of like, oh, there's a lot of light out here, it's this bright sunny day, and we'll pull it back into the range. To do it on the fly, uh, and to uh, control it in a way that's manageable and, and still it excites the visual aspects but it doesn't interfere with the gameplay is, is very important to us and next-gen technology. PlayStation 3 is like, you know, allowing us to do these amazing things runtime. We're hitting over, I mean easily, over 30 frames a second in some complex environments that have all this wind gusting around and it could be this nice little breeze and we can then push through an actual gust that like churns it up a little bit and then it settles back down and then we're actually getting a, a runtime shadow calculated on on the background and then the hero walks into it and he gets it too so he gets this dappled beautiful dappled light of these shadows and light playing across his body and we decided to take on water and if you're going to do water it has to look kick ass you want to make really nice water so it has to feel wet it has to look like the player is interacting with it and if you shoot the surface, you want it to, to react to that shot. Uh, if you shoot near the surface, maybe there is some sort of a, uh, an impact on the soil that you also want to kind of, that wind would impact, and we get that as well. And, and the water has to flow, it has to fall, and it has to break up, and it has to have volumetric particles at the bottom. It has to, water's hard. We have a volumetric shader that is used for our waterfall, so it actually has, what that means is there's a depth to it volumetric, meaning um, it has a parallaxing effect. So we get a faster inner moving, a slower outer moving, and then we add volumetric particles on top of that of a mist. Um, it's a pretty complex system without the PlayStation 3 and without Naughty Dog being crazy. Ah! I mean, I mean, we wouldn't be doing water, that's for sure, because it's crazy.